Reality Talks for us here on AM Show with me, Benedict Ousu. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, tonight, UEFA Champions League matches. The run of 16 second leg games, uh, two will be played tonight. And there'll be live commentary on Joy FM. Well, the first uh, two games in this uh, stage uh, will be the Real Madrid, Ayas and Madrid going to the second leg, having won away by two goals. To and then Tottenham Hotspur also uh, take their 3-0 lead from the first leg at the Wembley Stadium to Germany to play against Borussia Dortmund. We'll talk more about that, but we start here on the local scene in Asante Kotoko. Assistant coach Akako Patron is backing his boss, Siki Akono, to lead the side to the next stage of the ongoing CAF Confederation Cup. Now, yesterday, a staunch supporter who is an insider of the club revealed Siki Akono nearly resigned hours before their game against Encana, uh, which they won 3 0 in Kumasi on Sunday. Patron, uh, who admits he's learning a lot from the former Black Star skipper, believes he has what it takes to make the club great. Yeah, criticism is there to, to take it, you know, but it has to be a positive one as usual. You know, uh, we know we are working, uh, you know, very, very hard uh, day in, day out with these boys, you know, and uh, we want to play very good football, very, very possessing football as everybody can talk about. But then I think the supporters also have to have patience, you know. Sometimes patience pay, you know, if they keep putting on pressure onto us as a technical team sometimes, if to know what they have to see, you know, the positive side of the work that uh, is being done more than the negative side of it, you know. We know we still have work to do that uh, day in, day out, we still have to see to it to correct things so that in the future the team, the team will keep improving. I'm sure the technical team must be very, very delighted and you must be happy for your head coach, Sikia. Very, very, very happy, yeah. This uh, young man is a great guy that uh, working under him. And I must say that I appreciate it a lot. And then, uh, as always, we keep our head plan ahead, what to do the next coming days. It's very, very important to us. So it's good working with uh, Siki Akono. Of course, it's good working with him. What, what are some of the things that we picked up from Siki Akono? Uh, there are a lot. You know, for me, there are so many things that uh, in the future, probably, I have a lot to talk about. Because working on so many guys, you know, uh, I'm learning a lot from uh, all these guys that are being under them. And then what is most, most important is, you know, my support and my help. That is very, very important that I always push whoever I'm under. And at the end, we've all we enjoyed the result that comes. Was heavily criticized ahead of uh, last Sunday's game after the team's uh, defeat away to Incana. He's not bothered with that. Uh, only if criticisms uh, coming from fans and management are constructive. Well, I see it's, it's a worry. I mean, how some of us see the game. Um, all of you here, I, I mean, I respect all your views. And I, I, I like positive criticism. But if it's been personal, and it's, it's not, then it's, it's not too good. Um, uh, I wasn't worried about myself. I was worried about the boys. Uh, this was the moment we needed any, anybody who is a loving fan of, of Kotoko. And some were very, very negative, and it's, it's really affected the boys and it takes you guys might not know what it, what is taking for us to get here um, when we came from right when we landed to this moment it's been very very difficult I mean, my career as a coach i think uh, it's been a bigger journey than everything i've done uh, to talk to them to let them believe in themselves because they, they listen to all the things that has been said about them and all that. And I think sometimes we're a little bit too harsh on, on our boys. And, and you must watch. If you love this team, there are things you have to see, the, the reality on the ground. You know, This moment, before we came here, before this match, the boys needed all of you, all of you. If you are uh, radio or whatever, the boys needed all of you. And I think some have shown it. But what happened was, was a bit too negative, and I think maybe we should learn, learn from it. Hey, Asan Tekotoko coach Siki Akono, policy analyst of the club Yao Amosa from shares Siki's uh, view. For him, they can only get better when the criticisms are positive. Oh, criticisms are good sometimes, but positive criticism, criticisms are better. Sometimes some of the criticisms are so negative that as a coach, you get to ask questions about 
are we really uh, serious about the football? Because it happens, and I kept telling the fans that even sometimes Juventus will be playing in Champions League, they lose training away, they, lose, they win 4 0 home. Real Madrid, it happens to them. Barcelona, it happens to them. It happens all the time that sometimes you lose away and you win massively at home and qualify. So uh, we are in a group stage. We needed the points. We dropped very vital points. We dropped very, very important points in Sudan by losing 1-0 and dropped very, very crucial points at um, in Ghana. But we've learned our lessons. It's good that we are going through hell to get to heaven. So once we get through the hell at the group stage, the quarterfinals and semifinals become a bit easier for us. From Kumasi Asante Koroko, uh, we have to do some other stories. And Black Stars coach PCRP has expected uh, to name uh, his squad for Ghana's upcoming game against uh, Kenya. That's an Africa Cup of Nations qualifier this week. Well, a lot of players' uh, names have come up. And coach PCRP currently, as I speak to you, is out of the country monitoring uh, some of our players. Well, here on the local scene with Kumasi Asante Koroko playing in the CAF Confederation Cup and some of their players are uh, playing very well. One name that has come up uh, for a call-up, a possible call-up to the Black Stars is mid for the Aquami boys. Well, I spoke to him after their game against Nkana, asked uh, if he will be very happy if the call-up comes from Coach Kisi Apia. Well, it feels good, I mean, <coughs> to, to make the fans happy. But my, 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 main, my main motive is, is, is to, to help the team to win. And uh, the rest is just bonus. So I'm happy each and every one. They are happy. And also they are supporting us. And they should keep on. And, and, and yeah. How excited would you be if probably maybe in the near future something big comes out of your performance you're exhibiting for Kumasi Asante Koroko? I mean, if you should receive a call up here to the national team? Well, I mean, I mean it would be like a dream come true, you know? Um, but nobody knows tomorrow. It's only God that knows. Uh, I mean, we just have to... Um, I just have to uh, keep working hard and, and to, to get me closer to my dream. That's, that's my main uh, uh, goal, I mean, to, to work very hard each and every day, you know. But I'm not thinking about the whole process. I'm not thinking about how long it's going to take. I mean, just a day at a time, and, and I believe uh, soon I'll be there.